Hello and welcome to Amazing China. This is Cheng Dan with China Xinhua News Agency. Now I'm live broadcasting to you in Longtan Village, Ding, Anding District of Dingxi City in Southwest China's Gansu Province. Following our camera, we can see a group of farmers are digging potatoes. After the whole years of hard work, they gain today. And today I will take all of you to exper experience the local farmers' daily life. And in Northwest China, farmers hide uh, hundreds of ways to eat potatoes. And today I will take you guys to this kind of secret plant. Let's go. Following our camera, we can see that the farmers are using shovels to dig the potatoes and, and uh, after a while, they will teach me how to use it. According to uh, historical documents, uh, potatoes were, trans uh, were transported in, in chi into China uh, in about 400 years ago. Then the potato became important as Northwest China farmers' uh, staple food. In recent years, this kind of plant, um, about 30 years ago, the farmers uh, were plant, uh, the farmers pl planted potatoes uh, for preventing starving. But nowadays, in recent years, uh, they, they earn a lot of money from this kind of plant. Today is their harvest festival. According to historical documents, about 400 years ago, potatoes were transported into China. Then potato became important as staple food in Northwest China. Now China has the world's largest product of potatoes, and potato has a lot of starches and protein. As capital potato, after the year 2008, the potato planting area of Anding district of Dingxi city was capped above 1 million mu and its total output was above 1.3 million tons. And local enterprises has promoted over 20 species potato food as staple food and the potato product reaches 100,000 tons. And this place, Longtan Village, is about 2,000 meters above the sea level. This place is at a high elevation. And potato is the main product of all farmers here. Okay, following up camera, we can see the group of farmers that are digging potatoes. Uh, and now uh, the locals will teach me how to use this shovel. You know 想问问您这个挖的时候应该怎么挖呢
哎，在这个在这挖，你力气一会，对吗？哎，挖着哈去，这个有字母，比较难挖。哎，可是这么一起来以后，把这个字母这么撕开啊，哎，先拉出这个叶子以后，然后哇，把铁线往哈扔下，它自然就出来了。一般是它是里头在没有药药，如果这个药药确实大不放心的话，它就在这么挖一下，看一下嘛里头在有没。如果没个，就完全就算这是跟药局去核实核实了。嗯，这个必须要一个讲究。如果大部分人啊，这不讲究的话，天天随便拉着吃，他一般就会把药局排除掉了。嗯，他必须要这么个力力气。This farmer indicates that uh, when using this kind of shovel, we must insert it it into the mud. 这个就是放在远了，他也挖不出。你照着的了，他这个。And we must hold the stick tight. And then, when potato become bigger and then we can find them and dig them First, we will find the the plant, and then we insert this shovel into the mud, and then we will get our potato. And insert. Now, like our mango tree, it's about how much the mango tree can be made? The mango tree, this year, we have a lot of mango trees. Yes, we have a lot of mango trees. 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 人家的吃土这个好，日本这这个材料，嗯，过过来像像这么个这这这话，可能啊就要大大到三千多斤到五千斤日率这个数字，嗯，他的这个这这今年这个相当好了，呃，说说现在的根子挖养日的直接啊，还要。最不行还要延长二十天到一个月，如果天气没有发生冬的变化，可能要延长一个月。这一个月的话，就像这么个养鱼，完全可以长到这么大。After the whole year's hard work, the local farmers will gain about um about two thousand and five hundred kilograms every month in this area. 那那像这五千。公呃五千斤的话，大概我们能卖到多少钱呢？如果说把它折算成钱的话，嗯、呃，这这个，嗯、呃，在咱们第一次这两年过来，我们采购这个有大批的这个猪仓马铃薯的几千吨的这个，都有这个猪仓马铃薯的交量。嗯，交量如果说是按照去年呃年的话，这个日本情况过过来，呃，就是说分这个商品啊和这个。市场的做淀粉的这两种羊肉，他说，哎，商品的可以卖卖到三千呃三千多多到四千，这个不等。嗯，俺去年这个加工淀粉的话，个话这个最小的这个马铃薯，它要达到三毛多钱，这就是日末达到达到个一千呃多块钱到两千块钱。
After whole year's hard work, local farmers will earn about a two thousand to three thousand yuan every more. Uh, and if we use the potatoes to make some uh, st starches, uh, every more the local farmers will will get about uh, one thousand to two thousand yuan. 好，谢谢你。那咱们再再挖一点呗，挖一下就这样。哎，对。And now this farmer will teach me to dig potatoes. 他就，哎，呃，这个挖过来的还自己知道，哎，实际心理上自己知道，挖完再来摸吧。Firstly, insert into the mud, and then we will dig. Take the take the shovel up, and we will get the potatoes. Following the camera, we can see the the little one and the bigger one. This is a gift from the earth, from the mud. Okay guys, after digging the potatoes, a local farmers will teach me to uh, cook the potatoes. Okay guys, welcome back to Amazing China. After digging the potatoes from the earth, local farmers will put them in different kind of bags. And this basket is my product. And now I will take you guys to cook them. Follow me. Now following our camera, we can see this is a handmade stove that made of mud after a while we will set a fire and cook the potatoes follow, follow our camera we can see uh, different blocks of mud are put we'll put here 那像咱们下一步要要干什么？点火，点火。And now we will start a fire. First, the locals dig a hole on earth. When they start a fire, they use um, abandoned papers and wood. And the following camera can see the, the smog are from this stove. Yeah, yeah. 
according to locals, this kind of uh, uh, potato is named burning potatoes. They use a uh, wood to heat the different blocks of mud, and then they will put potatoes into this stove. In Northwest China, people have a hundred people have hundreds of ways to eat potatoes. And this is the most natural way to eat potatoes. The locals use different blocks of mud as a tower. And following the camera, I can see the fire clearly from the different blocks of mud. And this stove is from the nature. And this kind of cook method is the most natural way to eat potatoes. As captive potato after 2008, the potato planting area of Anding district of Dingxi city was capped above 1 million mu and its total output was above 1.3 million tons. And local enterprises has promoted over 20 species potato food as staple food and the potato product reaches 100,000 tons. And this kind of stove, the natural wind will help the fire bigger and bigger and heat the different blocks of mud. And then the locals will put potatoes into this stove and make mud cover all the potatoes. Now the different blocks of mud are heating. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> 
After packing the potatoes, the local farmers will transport these potatoes into the town. And there is a company in the town. This company will buy all the potatoes from the locals. After whole year's hard work, today the local farmers will welcome their harvest festival. After packing the potatoes, they will transport it, the, all the potatoes into the town. Welcome back to Amazing China. This is Chengnan with China's Xinhua News Agency. After heating the mud and the potatoes, the local farmers will show us the most natural way to eat potatoes. Now locals will open this the stove for us. Our potato were buried in the mud. Following our camera, we can see the smog now. Following our camera, we can see the potatoes, the hot potatoes. And they have a good smell. The hot potatoes and hot corns. In recent years, under China's Belt and Road initiatives, the potatoes of Anding district has been exported into West Asia and Europe. Every year there are about 1,000 tons of potatoes were transported into foreign countries. And after the year 2015, Chinese government has a plan that make potato as the staple food for Chinese people. As capital potato after 2008, the potato planting area of Anding district of Dingxi city was capped above 1 million mu and its total output was about 1.3 million tons. And local enterprises has promoted over 20 species potato food as staple food 
and the potato product reached 100,000 tons. Now following our cameras we can see the local farmers are eating their potatoes. It's very soft. After heating the potatoes and the corn are very soft. Roast potato is the simple and common way for locals to eat. After the whole year's hard work, people can cook this kind of delicious food. As potato capital, uh, Dingxi city is famous for its potato. And the Anding district, this area, is a core area of the Captain Potato. Every year, the plant area of potato is above 670,000 hectares. And every year, uh, local people uh, exported uh, this kind of potatoes into uh, West Asia and Europe. Uh, that's, that number is about um, 1,000 tons per year. And now uh, I will take you guys uh, to a place that local people uh, made potato as their staple food. Uh, in the year 2015, China had a plan that make potato as the staple food. And now we will go to that spot. Hello and welcome back to Amazing China. This is Cheng Nan with China's Xinhua News Agency. And now we're in a restaurant uh, of Anding District. Uh, in the year after the year 2015, China has a plan that um, make potato as a staple food for Chinese people. Now we can see the staple food product of potato. And this is a potato noodle. This is made of potato, potato noodle. And this, this is a potato biscuit. And Chinese people have made potato uh, into the biscuit. And these boxes are also uh, potato noodles. From the camera, we can see this kind of uh, potato powder has deep purple color. It's called a uh, black beauty, the potato species. The potato species name is black beauty. And this is the potato uh, starch, starch. This is also potato noodles. Okay guys, following on camera, uh, we will watch more about the Chinese people uh, made potato as the staple food in this restaurant. Following our camera, we can see uh, this guy
This is the potato powder. 那我我们现在要要拿它做什么呢？你现在要放在那个里面。好，好。This is called 搅团 in Chinese. Uh, these guys will put a local farmer will put the potato powder in this container, and this guy will smash the potato powder. He smashes the potato powder with a woody hammer. After smashing and smashing, the potato、uh, will become like like powder with water. According to historical documents, potato were transported into China in a, about 400 years ago, and then in Northwest China, potato become very important as local people's staple food. And nowadays, local enterprises has promoted about over 20 species of potato food as space as staple food. Come on. From our camera, we can see this kind of powder is made by potato. And this potato powder is cut it by locals into pieces, and then、uh, she will she will fry the potato powder for us. She will fry the potato powder for us. First, of all, she pours some oil into the pan. After heating the the oil. The potato powder will be fried. Chinese culture considers cook an art. On the local people's hand, potato has hundreds of thousand ways to eat, and this is one of them. 
about 400 years ago, potatoes were transported into China, and in Northwest China, potato become very important as an as a staple food. The potato powder were cut it into small pieces. Hello and welcome back to Amazing China. This is Chengdu with China Xinhua News Agency. I'm now live broadcasting to you in Anding District, Dingxi City of Northwest China's Gansu Province. If you're tired with French fries and chips, please come and join us in China's Harvest Festival. On the local people's hand, potato has hundreds of shapes. As staple food, she just finished the fried potato powder. Garlic and the green onion, the spicy hot pepper. And some vinegar. After stirring the potato powder, this dish will be finished in a few minutes. The fried potato powder has been finished. Hello and welcome back to Amazing China. This is Chengdan with China's Xinhua News Agency. Now, following our camera, we can see there is a iron stove, and local people just cut their potatoes. This kind of stove is for is for roast potatoes. Several minutes later, we will eat the fresh roast potatoes. Okay.
In the past, people who ate potato is for preventing starving, and nowadays,、uh, eating potato is the healthy way for fitness. Since the year 2015, China had a plan that make potato a staple food、uh, in, for Chinese people as wheat, corn,、uh, and rice. Now I'll wrap up our live show today. If you like our show, please share it with your, with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Keep following Xinhua for more news and updates. See you next time.